everyone, Reefer Gill here. I'm very excited to share my new tank and tank stand with all of you in this video. I purchased the tank from Crystal Dynamics in Southern California. I provided them with the measurements and instructions on what holes I wanted to drill in the back of the tank. A few weeks later, they shipped me the tank to Neptune's Aquatics in San Jose, California. I picked up the tank and brought it home in the back of my pickup truck. My buddy Ryan and I removed the tank from the back of the truck and placed it on the ground in the garage. So the tank sat in the garage for quite a while while I waited for the custom made tank stand to be completed. The tank stand is now finished and is upstairs. The day has come to move the tank into the living room. After arguing about who had bigger biceps, my buddy Jason and I started the process of moving the tank. I removed the protective layer of plastic, cardboard, and the wood crate and got a look at my new tank for the very first time. I'm telling you guys I'm super excited to put this build together. My first impressions of the tank is that it turned out exactly as I had imagined. Before we were able to move the tank upstairs, I had to drill one additional 3 quarter inch hole in the back of the glass tank. The 3 quarter inch hole will serve as an intake for my bucketless water changing system. Crystal Dynamics most certainly could have done this for me, but the idea came to me well after the tank was constructed and delivered. I'll demonstrate how I drilled the back of the glass tank in a future video. After successfully drilling the 3 quarter inch hole, Jason and I carried the tank upstairs and into the living room. We set the tank down on the stand where I was able to truly take it all in for the first time. Have I mentioned I'm super excited for this? Still recovering from the stress of drilling the hole in the back of the tank, we totally forgot to put the quarter inch foam pad down onto the stand before setting the tank down. I actually realized we forgot the foam pad several days later. Since the tank is rimless, the bottom of the glass is making direct contact with the wooden surface of the tank stand. To protect the glass from any pressure points caused by uneven wood surface from the stand top, it's highly recommended to place some sort of protection between the bottom of the glass and the surface of the tank stand. A few days later, I invited my neighbor Peyton over for a beverage and to help me with removing the tank from the stand. With his help, I was able to place the foam pad down and put the tank back in place. So this is a rimless Crystal Dynamics 100 gallon glass tank. It measures 48 inches long, 24 inches deep, and 20 inches tall. I did consider making the tank a bit longer, but I'm limited for wall space and secondly, things get much more expensive. For example, going longer than 48 inches would require an additional radion light. That alone is $1,000. That doesn't even include the cost of a larger tank, larger skimmer, larger sump, and so forth. Besides the costs of going larger, I just feel more confident maintaining a manageable sized aquarium. I definitely wanted more water volume than my past 75 gallon system, so I opted for a deeper and taller tank. A 100 gallon tank may not be a huge upgrade, but when you consider how much sharper this tank and stand look in comparison, the upgrade is well worth it. There are dual 3 quarter inch returns in the upper rear corners of the tank, 1.5 inch drains for the 16 inch Synergy Shadow Overflow, a 1 inch drain in the lower left corner to drain water from the display tank for water changes, a 3 quarter inch return to feed the display tank with freshly mixed salt water from the water making station downstairs. The Shadow Overflow is a huge upgrade all on its own. With no overflow weir tower, I have plenty of real estate to use for the aquascape and it just makes the tank look much larger. Additionally, the overflow has a black lid to prevent light from penetrating into the overflow, thus preventing nuisance allergy and aptasia from growing, unlike my previous 75 gallons overflow. The back of the tank and the bottom glass panel were painted black by the manufacturer. The black background really makes the colors of your corals and your fish more vibrant. The front and side glass panels are starfire, meaning that they contain low iron, giving you a clearer view of the fish and the corals colors. The glass itself is a half inch thick. The seams are reinforced and are made of black silicone which I think gives the aquarium a sharp look. As you can see, both of my radion lights have been installed and are being controlled by my Apex. I'll show you how I mounted the lights in a later video. The stand was made by a cabinetry shop that is owned and operated by a friend's family. The stand is made out of 3 quarter inch maple wood. It measures 48 inches long, 25 inches deep, and 37 inches tall. I painted the outside of the stand black and the inside gray and orange to go along with the overall color theme of the system. I also used Rust-Oleum orange paint to paint the door hinges in the hopes of slowing down the corrosion process caused by the salt water. 
I also painted the hinge screws gray to give it an extra pop. The doors are oversized and there is no middle bracing between the doors. This allows me easy access into the stand area to work on the sump and do my maintenance. Since I'll be using the Kessel H380 Grow Light for my refugium, I did decide to tint the glass doors, actually they're acrylic, not glass, to prevent the bright purple light from spilling out. Give your tank stand some thought if you're in the market of purchasing a new system. I learned this the hard way when I purchased my last stand. The only consideration I gave it is that it would hold the weight of my tank. I had to later modify it with larger doors, but I was never happy with how short the stand was. You want to make sure you have plenty of room to work with without slamming your head or your elbows. Not to mention a larger stand will also provide you with more room to mount your equipment and your power strips. I'm still waiting for my custom sump from Zero Edge Aquarium so I'm stalled out until it arrives. So there we have it, my new 100 gallon rimless tank and new stand. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys next Sunday. <laughs>